Hello, I've had a question in Unit 4, Lesson 6, and this is the second part of the homework, number 29. So we have a window with a perimeter of 8 meters, consists of a rectangle and an equilateral triangle. So the window looks like that. That's my length. This is my W. Then they all look end up looking like that. So we know the perimeter is going to be 1, 2, 3 W's plus two lengths. So we said that it has eight meters in total, width plus two L. So this is my constraint equation that I'm working on right now. So I want to find the final width. So that means I'm going to get rid of length in the equation eventually. So I'm going to find out what length is equal to. So therefore my length will equal four minus three halves W. So there is one constraint equation. So we're trying to optimize, again, area because we want the most light. So what is the area for this equation or this shape? Well, it's going to be length times width plus one-half base times height. So we have our length already. Now we've got to find our base and height. Well, the base we know because our base is going to be just the W. So I'm just rearranging here. We know that base is equal to width. So that's another constraint equation. And we got to replace or find the height of that triangle. So the height of that triangle will be right here. So our height, okay, and we know our width. So we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. So we know that W squared is equal to the height squared plus the base is one half the width squared, which means we would have W squared minus one quarter w squared equals h squared and again just repositioning we end up with h squared equals three quarters w squared or the height is root three over two w so this one is tricky because we end up with three constraint equations so we go ahead and do our substitution four minus 3 halves W times W plus 1 half. Our base is W, and we just found our height, root 3 over 2 W. So I want to clean that up before I take a derivative. 4 W minus 3 halves W squared plus, this is going to be root 3 over 4 W squared. Now I'm going to take the derivative of area with respect to width. So that would be 4 minus 3w plus root 3 over 2w. We're optimizing, so we're going to let the area with respect to width equal 0. 0 equals 4. I'm going to factor out a negative w, leaving me with 3 minus root 3 over 2. Moving that to the other side, I'm going to get that as one fraction. So it becomes 6 minus root 3 equals 4, or the width equals 8 over 6 minus root 3. So for the most part, I would accept that as your, your final answer um, for the width being optimized. Now it doesn't match up with the answer, and I'll just explain the why. It comes down to the fact that we don't like leaving um, answers with radicals in the denominator. So if we multiply by the conjugate, what happens then is we find width equals 8 bracket 6 plus root 3 on top. And on the bottom, it's a difference of squares, so we have 36 minus 3, or our final answer of 8, 6 plus root 3 over 33. So there is our width that would optimize this particular question. If you have any further questions or follow-ups, let me know and I'll attempt to explain them.